gentlemen, now's the time, please, to be seated for me. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello, good afternoon, one and all. It's nearly gone in, isn't it? Anyway, good afternoon, one and all, and welcome to the Snappish in the Hollands, to the Ashes, where we're all gathered here this afternoon to witness to celebrate the marriage of Frankie and Tom. Well, my name is Ken Hogby, my colleague Jane Bath. It's our privilege and our pleasure today to, to, to be conducting your ceremony here on quite a nice late September afternoon. So first of all, a kind of official welcome to you both on this your special day as you begin your life's journey together as husband and wife. We sure, we certainly think it's going to be a happy <laughs> and a memorable one for you both, a day that you'll always wish to recall with much pleasure in the years to come. And also a warm welcome to all your patient family friends. <laughs> <laughs> To witness this public, I know not blaming, you're not so blaming for it. To witness this public declaration of your love and your commitment to one another. So if you're all ready, then we'll begin. And it's my official duty to say that this place in which we are now met, it's been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriage. We're all here this afternoon to witness the joining in matrimony of Francesca McAllister to Thomas Lex. And if any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then they should declare it now. So I think we'll crack on, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of marriage is to allow you to make a formal commitment to each other through everything that life brings you, and to accept each other's strengths and to accept each other's weaknesses. It's a promise from each of you to always treat each other with love and respect. And never forget that your marriage is a continuing celebration of the love that you share are you ready, Tom? I am. Good. I have been for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely glad you said that. <laughs> because is your name Thomas Grant Mass? Yeah. You freely and willingly enter into marriage today with Francesca McAllister. I do. Francesca, is your full name Francesca Pan McAllister? And do you freely and willingly enter into marriage today with Thomas Spice? I do. Thank you. Now, who gives Francesca to be married to Tom? Thank you, Paul. Take it over. Pass it over to this lucky young man here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing, thank you. And you can. Are you okay with that? You yeah, can hold hands and all away. Are you comfortable like that? Just hold hands and all however you feel. That's brilliant. So before you were joined in matrimony, it's my duty to remind you of the solemn and the binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage according to the law of this country, it's the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. I'm now going to ask you each in turn to make the declaration that you know the legal reason why you should not be married to each other today. So would you first time I'd like to repeat these words after me in a loud and clear voice. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Thomas Lias. Why I, Thomas Lias. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Francesca <coughs> McAllister. To Francesca McAllister. Now it's your turn, Frank. You ready? I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Francesca McAllister, Why I, Francesca McAllister, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. Thomas Lice. Thomas Lice. Now you two can just relax and just reflect on what you've said to each other, <laughs> because I'm going to invite Amanda, who's going to do a reading for us this afternoon. Amanda. I have to stand up for me. No, you, you, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> <good. Yeah, yeah. laughs> That's fine. Um, I'm going to do a reading. Um, it's called A Lovely Love Story by Edward Monkton. The fierce dinosaur was trapped inside this cage of ice. <coughs> Although he was cold, he was happy in there. After, sorry, it was, after all, his cage. Then came along the lovely other dinosaur. The lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words and loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, thought the lovely other dinosaur. 
Although he is fierce, he is also tender and he is funny. He is also quite clever, though I will not tell him this for now. I like this lovely other dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She is beautiful and she is different and she smells so nice. She is also a free spirit, which is a quality I much admire in a dinosaur. But he can be so distant and so peculiar at times, thought the lovely other dinosaur. He's also overly fond of trains. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> traditional way of sealing a contract is by the giving and the receiving of a ring. The wedding ring has got an important significance in a relationship. It's a circle, but neither beginning nor ending. Francesca and Thomas have chosen to mark the occasion of their wedding in this time on the way. John, I think you've got Francis. And would you present that please to Tom? Thank you. I'd like you now to face each other for me. Third finger left hand. Uh, that one's pretty quick there, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting till I can do it. Is that what you mean? Yeah, obviously you weren't late for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Third finger left time, and just put the ring and hold it there, Tom, look at Frankie and say these words to him. Francesca, I give you this ring. Francesca, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And a token of my love and affection. And a token of my love and affection. Promise to be loving, promise to be loving, faithful, faithful, and loyal to you always, on time. Don't <laughs> 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 forget the loyal bit there. And loyal to you always, loyal to you always. And I call upon, and I call upon these persons here present, these persons here present, to witness that I, Tom, to witness that I, Tom, do take you, Frankie, do take you, Frankie, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. Mark, would you come forward, please, present Frankie with Tom's ring. Third finger, left hand. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, get a grip. Get him sorted out. There we go. And look at Tom say these words to him. Tom, I give you this ring. Tom, I give you this ring. It's a symbol of our marriage. It's a symbol of our marriage. It's a token of my love and affection. And a token of my love and affection. I promise to be loving. Faithful, faithful and loyal to you always. On time and loyal to you always. <laughs> <laughs> and I call upon And I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I Frankie. To witness that I Frankie. Do take you, Tom. To take you, Tom. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes. Brilliant, yeah. there we go. <laughs> so just hold hands, face me. Because all it's left for me now to say is, are you okay? Yeah. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Frankie and Tom, you both made the declarations prescribed by law. You made a solemn and a binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, your friends, your witnesses who've gathered here this afternoon. 
So on behalf of Jane and myself, and I always speak for everybody, when we hope and sure today's going to be a day to look back upon with love and happiness. And so it gives me great pleasure to say that you are now husband <laughs> and wife, and I should kiss your bride if I was your baby. Yeah.